Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer from English with Jennifer. Would you like more language support, especially with conversation? Remember, I have videos here on YouTube and on Instagram. In fact, on Instagram, all my videos target listening and speaking skills. I cover American pronunciation and U.S. history and culture. And it's free, so follow me on Instagram, okay? So I can help with my videos on YouTube and on Instagram. But I know what many of you are really looking for is speaking practice with teacher feedback. Holo is an app and it's free to download. I'm one of many teachers on Holo. I use this platform to extend my teaching beyond my YouTube and Instagram videos. I give listening and speaking practice in real time. I've been going live two to three times a week. I have free lives for followers and premium lives for subscribers. Holo allows students to hop on camera with me for one-on-one -on -one practice. Subscribers get priority, but I also welcome non-subscribers to hop on. Some non-subscribers request hop-ons through small donations, but I've also given away some free hop-ons. A live stream is about an hour, but often longer. I've covered grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation, but the most popular live streams are those that allow for conversation practice. Here's an example of a conversation do-over. I let a student answer a question. I give feedback and then the student gets a do-over. A second chance to answer the same question. It's a chance to do even better. It builds confidence and fluency. Um, and it sounds like they just broke up recently or they're in the process of breaking up. Is that right, Kit? No, they're still, they are still they're, in the relationship. Uh, they're still together, but maybe they'll yeah. break up soon. Break up is a good verb. Okay. All right, Kit, so I gave you some expressions about love, not loving in return, that kind of thing. I'm going to ask you the same question. You did really well the first time. I'd like you to do even better the second, okay? So, Kit, tell us about your friend. What's going on with her? I have a friend, and she's a very loving person, but sadly right now she's nursing a broken heart because he, she loves her boyfriend, but her, boyf her boyfriend doesn't love her in return. She's mm. trying her best to cope up with, a, with her difficult situation, and she's moving on, I hope. I hope so. Kit, that was wonderful. It came out so much smoother, um, so much more smoothly. So very good do-over. That was an excellent do-over. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Wow. We've also played conversation games on Hollow. These have become very popular. I'll let you listen to a few. Here's the if game. We create a chain of real or unreal conditional sentences. It reinforces the grammar. If you wear headphones, then you will enjoy music yourself only. And that's a good thing. <laughs> if I enjoy music all by myself, I'll also dance all by myself. <laughs> if you dance while listening music, uh, it will be uh, a really nice thing for you <laughs> because dancing is a, a kind of meditation. It is, it is. Just be careful you're saying if you listening, if you're, if you dance while you're listening to music. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, now let's change it for the last minute. Um, <laughs> if I danced all by myself, people would think I'm silly. Uh, think, uh, what is the past tense of think, thought? Or... Thought. Okay. If people thought that uh, you, uh, if people thought that you were, were silly, then I think people would be uh, uh, mistaken. <laughs> okay. By their if, comment. if people were mistaken, I would forgive them. 
Mystery guest is a lot of fun. We take turns being someone famous from the present or the past. Through conversation, we have to guess who the mystery guest is. We don't focus on correcting mistakes. We speak to have fun. It's about listening to each other to understand. Hello. Hello. Hi. Ho uh, who, who are you? Are you I'm political? So, Pol you don't know me? I, I am like so important. I am so important and so powerful. Like, how do you not know oh, me? Oh, really? Yeah. Are you president? I'm bigger than a president. Are you male or female? Oh, bigger a male. than president. A male, and I'm strong oh, and I'm powerful. Male? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a king? Am I okay? Am I king? I I'm bigger than a king. Uh -huh. I'm an emperor. Like I'm. Wow. Like, yeah. What the big, bigger than king? Bigger and powerful. <laughs> like you, you don't want to go to war with me. I've started wars. You know. Uh, are you from Germany? No, I, I'm, I'm very proud of my, uh, my, my country is not Germany. Mm -mm. Are you Adolf Hitler? No. <laughs> who? Who? Oh. I, I, who? Who's that? I, because I, I, that might be uh, from a different time. I, I think that might oh. have been after me. I don't know. After you? Oh, yeah. oh you're so lo long time ago. Um, yeah. Um, wait, wait, who, oh, uh, don't you, I mean, oh. I mean, my, my, my clothes are just so very, very, very beautiful. And like, I always wear this really nice hat, you know, because I like to look mm, bigger, bigger than Napoleon I am. Napoleon Bonaparte. We. Oui. <laughs> yes. We. <Oui. laughs> we. <Oui. laughs> Je suis <the> Napoleon. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> really, teacher? Are you Napoleon yes. Bonaparte? Yes, I'm Napoleon oh. Bonaparte. <laughs> so are you bigger than king and president? Yes, I do, right? If you think of Napoleon, wasn't he like the emperor of France? Like, yes. Am, am I right with my history? <laughs> okay, now my turn, teacher. Can okay. I? Okay, yes, you have someone? <laughs> oh, okay, uh, hello. Hello. You, you know who... You um, know no. who I am? No. Um, do you live close to me in the United States? Um, yes, I think. <laughs> you do? Yes, I think. I live in yeah. Massachusetts. Do you live in Massachusetts or do you live in a different state? <laughs> Actually, I don't know from, from where. I, okay. I am a good singer. I'm a famous singer. Oh, wow. You don't know me. Are, I'm sorry, so to ask, I don't recognize your voice. Are you a man or are you a woman? <laughs> I'm a woman. Oh, okay. I'm now beautiful I beautiful hear... and sexy. Yeah. Oh, mm. your voice is beautiful. Now I think I'm starting to recognize you. Um, is your, do you make the kind of music that I dance to? Would I dance to your music? Mm. Yes. Yes. Do you give many concerts? Mm. Yes. You do. You, uh, I, I'm I'm Latin. Oh, do you dance and very sexy. well? Do you dance very well? Um, uh, wait, wait. Is she dancing or no? I think yes. Yes, I think. Um, so you might be close to me in age because I bet you're a little <laughs> old. You're kind of older like me. I'm gonna guess. Are is um, your first name also Jennifer? Yes. Oh, see. Yes. yes. J Lo, it's very nice to have you here, J Lo. <laughs> yes, I'm Jennifer Lopez with a sexy body. <laughs> okay, so we share the it's same person. It's, it's... <laughs> Another recent activity on Hollow used short dictations as a way to start conversation. After writing down a short script, one student would hop on with me. We'd practice the script, we'd switch roles. And then we'd let the script develop into a natural conversation. So students got listening, pronunciation, and speaking practice. Okay, you start. You be person A, I'll be person B. Go ahead. If time travels, will you do it? Will you uh -huh. possible do it? Liliana, don't skip the verb. If time travel were possible. Will? Were. Were. I don't know how to pronounce that. Were. 
Yeah, Julie, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm getting it to 10%. You're at 1%. <laughs> were, were. Were. Right? Is This is um, hypothetical. So we don't say if time travel was. We say if time travel were possible. Because were we're imagining. Possible. If time uh, travel were possible, it. would you do it? Would you do it? Okay. okay if ask- time travel were possible, would you do it? Sure. As long as I could come back to my own time. Okay. Oh, that's good. Good. Let's switch roles. Liliana, if time travel were possible, would you do it? Sure. As long as I could come back to my own time. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Let's link a little better at the end to my own time. To my own time. Mm-hmm. One more time, Liliana. If time travel were possible, would you do it? Sure. As long as I could come back to my own time. Really? Would you not be scared or would you be excited, Liliana? I'll be scared. <laughs> I don't trust those things too much. <laughs> if I promised you everything would be okay, would you do it? Yes. If you promise, okay. yes. I promise. I promise. You. I, I would also I go. I'll go with you. you. I'll go with you. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> Lillian. Hey, Andrea. How are you? How are you? Good. You? Super. We'll, we'll leave Andrea at home so she can stay safe. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> You'll be waiting for us. Liliana. I, it, today. I found very challenging this for me. If you'd like to have speaking practice in a fun, helpful way, then join me on Holo. Visit my profile page where I post my weekly schedule. It's free to follow me, so try a live stream. If you like it, consider subscribing. Monthly subscriptions are very affordable. As always, thanks for watching and happy studies.